Okay. Hi. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, uh, a lot tonight. Uh, I hope I don't screw it up too badly. Let's give it a shot. Uh, so the big four represent uh, four main pieces of creation, could we say it that way. Uh, the space itself, the self that's present, the character that is present, even finer and finer and finer, whatever, uh, more uh, original. The, I use the word construct for a while. Uh, design is also a very good word here. The design of creation. Uh, okay. The big four. Uh, hopefully having a week, an extra week off, uh, you'll be nice if you would spend some time uh, and major in the one that catches your attention. For example, uh, uh, last week, uh, Lauren was asking me to get more into the character and the archetype, uh, finer and finer character archetype. And that, could I call it lineage? That lineage character, Bobby Robert Nadeau, Sensei, da, da, da. And more original than that, more original than that, okay? And the combinations later, a better self, a better character. Character squaring away better, whatever the right words for squaring away are, uh, facilitates more of the self showing. Okay. So anyway, where the hell are we? Space, self, character, design of creation. Ta -da. I'm sorry, to say, are you soliciting comments? Uh, yeah, when I shut up for more than a moment, I'm so soliciting. So, since I have a question here, um, okay. if this is Tija. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. yes, sir. We, we've been we've been talking about things that are sequential things that are linear and in some ways then referring also to things that are non-linear yeah when you lay out the big four like this i imagine that it's both linear and non-linear but do you see that yeah. in, in a design uh i mean you see the design in, in a sequence Da da. And lo and behold, <laughs> <laughs> this is just a different angle on the D. No, I'm sorry, not not not, not that one. Hang on, no to D yet. To D. That's an overlaid presentation. Sure. I thought I'd throw this one at you. Uh, this one at you, just to get a different angle on it. So, okay, let me go over this. There's an original creation and it, the finest, let's say, whatever word, the finest. And as it continues, it goes into less fine or if it's the finest vibrations, it goes into a little heavier vibration, continuous heavier vibrations, heavier vibrations. And here we are in this heavy matter world, heavy body, heavy pressure, stuff like that. Okay, so how I configured that, excuse my drawing, Katja wasn't here earlier. Uh, so let's starting here at this tighter place of manifest, okay? Now, in the manifest, we can upgrade Bobby to Robert, a one by to a two by, a bad day to a fair day, 
uh, uh, the millionaire can can upgrade and and get to a point where he's a billionaire. The athlete can get faster and stronger or what whatever. We can upgrade. Okay. Okay, so far. Now, what we're trying to do here is saying, wait a minute, there's enough. Enough is enough or good enough is good enough. So I arbitrarily for me, I like the sense of at least a three by three level or a nado level. Okay. Or a good day level that a certain amount of presence in the what Tej is calling linear, we, we also call that the linear, the manifest linear world. Okay. And when you get to enough, which I call it balance level, not just the idea, but also the experience of that level, okay? You have an opportunity. Oh, sensei right here said, uh, okay, we can go from finer and finer, and then we can make a move to more original. So this is my attempt to map that out. We can make a move from finer and finer and finer and finer, which he inferred goes on and on and on, finer to finer to finer to finer. Uh, it really goes on a long time or long way. But we can cut short on that. Once you get the sense of it and need some experience of it, Bobby to Robert and Otto, you're getting some experience. Uh, Someplace along the way, it's good enough. Now we start to head towards more original and we're, uh, we're heading towards the domain. Uh, originally uh, was called hidden by El Sensei, domain for me. And for, uh, seems to lay it out a bit better. We could say this is a whole world of manifest. Now here's a whole world of domain. Very fancy place. A lot can go on here. So if our one, two, three, four, if we have some experience with one, two, three, four, there's no reason you can't then start to uh, shift out of a finer to finer to finer form to uh, uh, a more original. And then eventually, don't worry about it now, but eventually, if you really get pretty good here, you can move into the heavenly. <laughs> okay. So we're heading towards more original, more original, more original. In the manifest, in Bobby's world, Robert's world, our world, uh, some degree of, of getting a sense of the dimensionality, of the improvement of the character, of the more room that's there, uh, of the finer vibrations that exist. Uh, you're better, the world around you seems to be better. Uh, seems to be a mutual relationship, support. Good. We may have enough right there to say, okay, enough of that style. Now we're going to uh, head towards or bring in the word more original. Okay. More original. And here's where the domain. Now we're making a move from, from the manifest towards and into domain level okay so I, I don't know i thought by drawing it out it may give you a little different angle on on the overlay the manifest the domain world and the divine world they're all fully there overlay but i thought that angle on it might give you a little different take ah atija did that do anything for us <laughs> Yeah, that's helping. That's just uh, helping to get a little more clarity around that, because it is. I think what you're saying is it's both the the linearity is in certain parts, and then the nonlinearity is in is in other dimensions yeah. of our. Of maybe our maybe we could say that the flavor of the development of the linear, Bobby Robert Nadosa. Uh, the flavor of it continues when I, for lack of words, I don't have a good word here, shift to more original. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, there'll be a lot of carryover there. 
I, I don't know how to say it any better. Sorry. No, you can't de- you can't develop in the linear way into that space, right? I mean, linear- I, apparently not. Apparently, it's really big, big. You can go on and on and on and on. Uh, it, it's just finer to finer to finer to finer, and and still not get to the underlying major let's say a major move to the domain that's there Ugh, damn the words people damn the words where are we here tisha <laughs> that's, yeah that's good that's yeah. good it's just it's so interesting to reflect on how how we can make the effort in the linear way you get some sense of progress so you think in order to go further you have to you have to work more progress. I'm a billionaire. I've got to be a multi-billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have to be a multi 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 billionaire or whatever whatever. Yeah. That uh, yes, yes, yes. Now, is that not enough? Aren't you sort of getting more squared away? Can we not do a more original style? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And that's why we bring up a, a heavier example now. It's a heavy example, but somebody who's the great swordsman, he's the best for years. He's the best of the generation. And someplace along the way, the story goes, he goes, eh, eh, I don't feel like trying to get better. Okay. My, my greatness is more than good enough. And he stops worrying about this. I think think of it as a left-right development. Shit. Uh, help. <laughs> uh, and 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 then the question: Who am I? The self is starting to. Hey, you got enough of this. What about this piece? The self piece. Then they often go off to a monastery or go live in a cave because they're questing something a finer inner as opposed to developing more this, this, where there probably was some degree of inner work to be the great swordsman, but really want to major in it or do a, a quantum leap possibility to more or towards more original. And that's where the uh, word or designation that we're using, the domain. Uh. <laughs> so more repetition uh, more repetition of the same thing. You know, you got to be a great swordsman by doing a thousand yes. cuts a day. And, and by the way, point, you know, that's by the way, old sensei brought that one up. Yeah. He, he said to swing 3000 times, all you got to do is tear your shoulders up and <laughs> torque your spine. He says, you know, old sensei says, I could do it in one or two swings. Mm. That's old sensei. But he's, 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 he's still pointing out a, a direction. Enough of this. Well, again, it's change of direction, bad phrasing. But this, let's head towards more original, more original. So all my training heretofore, let's say, has been finer and finer. That's a Bobby Robert Nando setup kind of thing. Now let's head towards more original. Best I can say it. Yeah. And I think that's where a lot of people in our Friday night group are sort of ready for more original. <laughs> so I think you've done a fair good job, hopefully a, a fair good job in your linear work of, you know, catching the pieces of the linear. There's a body, character, Bobby, Robert, not go, oh, there's more room and more room seems to facilitate a Robert showing better or a nado showing better so we need a room or space okay then we find out after a bit uh there's a sense of something self inner that people start to pick up there's, a, there's something you're called self that's different than robert but it's me it's self uh, so i think when when self is starting to show it's a damn good clue that you have an opportunity here to uh, do this, uh, again, I don't know what to call it, this uh, potentially faster form or more direct heading towards original. Uh, how are we doing here? Deja, back to you. No, I think that's good. Um, 
and I, I just want to sympathize with the language and how how difficult it is to uh, to kind of uh, pinpoint these more subtle and refined uh, when we're talking about moving from linearity to nonlinearity, we're still using the linear mind to try to figure that out or try to, so you have to let go. You really do have to let go yeah. in order to, yeah. to feel that, in order to experience it because. Yes, yes. Yeah. So the more space can facilitate the, in fact, I, I kind of like this, the, the wording more original it's almost like for, for me it's almost like a kind of a magic word okay yeah i gotta settle and sit and square away a little bit yes 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 linear now more original more original so i, I kind of like that phrasing i like it more original it's also a sensei phrase but uh but I, I like the flavor of it. That's something, little something for, for me. But again, I think historically, throughout the centuries, this difficulty of being at, at a, a much finer level than normal people, trying to explain how that level you're in works, that this has always been a problem. Oh, since I said, oh, my God. What a problem. It always was and always will be a problem. So we throw it out, uh, knowing a lot of people are going to get, you know, try to figure out these things in their linear modality. And it has to be experienced. So the sense of more room, experiencing, and then uh, using the four as a tr tracking mechanism, could I say? So again, Lauren was interested in in character and archetype. Okay, kind of a lineage, a character lineage. Okay, goes on for a long time. It doesn't stop at uh, uh, once you get into finer energy vibrations where you're sort of past the body. It doesn't stop there. There's still a body, not this body, but a body. So uh, when we clarify that a bit, we'll try to map it uh, with some of the uh, body words. TJ, help me. We've talked about this. Uh, a chakra body. Okay. Yeah, I was referring to, uh, I was referring to what's often known in the literature as subtle body is what is the subtle, subtle body. Okay. And the subtle body will be any of the dimensions that so you're talking about chakra body we could talk about the from the chinese point of view it's the dantians uh mm -hmm. japanese we talk about the hara as a as an energetic field yeah. and you're laying out center line center field as a cohesive consilient piece that's and with the sense that body continues and the archetype bodies are getting very advanced. They really come up strong when you're heading it towards or in domain. Now, I'm, I'm thinking of archetype bodies as an experiential level. I'm not talking about you read it in your psychology book because Jung said so, and you go, yeah, yeah, I understand. I'm not talking about that body or that knowledge about that body. I'm talking about the experienced body that is kind of similar to you experiencing actually that there's a body that's very alive past this body okay uh, so maybe we'll map that out a little bit uh, so I'll bounce back with Tisha and get some of the oriental words a subtle body and uh, there's another one or two there that we'll sort of throw in no big deal uh, you don't have to spend generations of your life with one level body <laughs> Uh, things can move very fast, especially when we start this pattern going. Ah, he's your help. I don't know if I. No, that's good. That's good. There, there's, uh, you know, we talk about the astral body. We talk about the, you know, the channels and the meridians. And the ancient yogis had their ways of speaking about it, and they talked about what's called the nadis, which is their kind of view 
of the subtle energy channels. Yes. Okay. Now for me, yeah. I don't want to get into a big discussion there, but for me, energy flow things are fairly early. It's in the energy body level. So I want to continue with more the uh, subtle body that's finer, moves along, and whatever other words other people use for even finer than that. So, so yeah, yeah, what I appreciate you you saying, and in a, it's in a way how you how you guide us is you give us the practice so that we can directly connect with the experience, and then afterwards you can start to put some language to it. Uh, but but it begins with practice moving into experience. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you're that's a one by two by three by or yeah. any of the any of the ways that we um, yeah. that we connect with it. We we move more into into experience, and yeah. that's the same way. Really, the skillful way in working with subtle channels is don't say, well, this is your Chang Mai, and this is your you know, this is the microcosmic orbit or something. And then you're just stuck in your head about what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Uh, so uh, a major with all of this is have some distinction between the awareness or teacher call it stuck in your head, the awareness of it. Okay. Yes, there's no problem with that. It's when you think your awareness is everything and there's another whole, especially under half of it, the experience of it. And then the continuing finer experience, sensing finer experience, sensing, sensing finer. So again, the uh, uh, it's not on my list right now, I don't think, but uh, thinking, feeling, finer feeling, sensing finer sensing that, that that's important in all of this work so we don't just become intellectuals about it Is, blah, blah, blah. help uh, sensei I, if i could uh interject sure oh yes please <laughs> all right so i'll just add I need all the help i can get tonight well i'm i'm uh, uh appreciating tonight's new diagram uh, this you one. Like, you like that one? <laughs> I, I, I do. I do. Um, uh, be, because um, to me, it uh, ties also to your what you've been talking about with the vortex of creation. Yeah. All right. And so apparently that's a vortex. That's well, vortex. yeah. So that's actually what I wanted to talk about. So you've drawn it as if it's three circles, but my understanding is more of a, like a, a gradient yeah. transition that the the hidden domain is kind of the the area between heavenly and manifest we can't really see it we have to really open to it and but, sense finer yes go ahead and that once we sort of open ourselves to the hidden then it's possible to sort of from time to time, perhaps access the heavenly, uh, but uh, it could show through. Yeah, it could no, show through. See, no. even in the physical, uh, we've had moments where something has flashed through. The, the old Aikido story was an uh, uh, example. An old grandmother walks into the garage, her grandson is pinned under the car, the jack broke or something, and she picks the damn thing up. Right. Yeah. right. Or when I uh, that's just a story. I, I I don't know where it came from. Uh, but what I read about was a guy, truck driver, I guess, and car got into a, near him, got into an accident. It was on fire. The guy was inside. Car's on fire. And he ripped the door off. And he later said, I can never do that again. What happened in that moment that he was able to rip the door off? As something flashes through. Uh, right, 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 okay? right. So, yes, there are flash throughs. OK, now what I'd like to get people to do is if they get a flash through and say, wow, I had this amazing experience. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Now, shouldn't you backtrack it and try to exist at least for a while in the level or, yeah, the size, space, the level, whatever it came from? It caught your attention. Right. 
Now, if you're really interested, you say, hmm, what's the more earlier origin of that? <laughs> How was that allowed to work? Well, let me think about that. Well, let's see. They were stressed and they, uh, no, 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 no. The actual experience of that can be replayed or you can use the memory of that to replay. Yeah, or Jack so going over the cliff in his car and a bunch of right. stuff happened that Jack didn't do. We all know Jack. Jack didn't do this, but shoom, things got taken care of. They were just happening. That was a flash through. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, please. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you have described uh the vortex of creation moving from finer energy to denser and denser and uh, matter manifest. It's thicker, then, yeah. but, then, but then to sort of open ourselves out of that, we need to spiral back the other way, it seems. Yeah, but I don't have to spiral. Uh, see, I, I, I don't I, really yeah. pick up a, a spiral. I understand it's spiraling, so I diagram it just that way. But I don't feel a spiral per se. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. I can feel heavier forms of it if I stand and check. I say, oh, it's spiraling this way strong today, but not this way. <clears throat> so there's up and down different directions of spiral that I can sort of pick up. Blah, 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 blah. Pass on that. Go ahead. As strong as it pushes, it pulls, we could say. Yes. If, if you settle, there is a room, a pull in that should be equal to the push into tighter and tighter. So, so if settling and opening, go. <laughs> if, the, if, the, if the vortex creation is towards denser and denser, the practice is the vortex of opening of finer and finer. And so I find it, you know, maybe that happens in our center and that's why we practice. But there's this, these two dynamics simultaneously, right? If we are truly in our practice, then we are trying to move ourselves. We are allowing ourselves to sense the hidden dimension more than the manifest. and yet the tendency in the universe is towards you know denser and denser and and here you've told us night after night yeah reach for the finer yeah. you know which you know uh, yeah we, i i think we've pointed out very clearly that bobby then there's weird bobby and i have my mental illness and you all do too all i have to do is box you in tight enough Okay, and we all go a little we really weird. That's you getting into a tighter. In a smaller space, my body slumps a bit. My tummy pulls in a bit. Huh? In a larger space, oh, I tend to straighten. I tend to begin to breathe better. I tend to feel a little more power supporting my back. As I settle more, I tend to feel more present and a fuller uh, energy sense through my whole body, uh, sort of basics. Uh, so you got to rec. And what I've tried to have you do, people, is recognize when you the the soft push. I put you in a wind tunnel, and I said, let's see if you can't pick up playing the game. Pick up this beginning of a push before it pushes you into your weirdness or tightness or whatever. Uh, to try to pick it up a little earlier. Not wait till you're pushed and pushed and pushed, and then it's kind of hard work. You're in a very tight, a little harder to move up out of that. You're in an insane asylum. It's a little harder. To, so I think I'll settle open and move along dimensionally. Uh, so to try to get a feeling of, of that push and easy settle, to feel things opening there. Opening there. We could call that a calling. Easy. As you get finer sense, you can feel that uh, pull is not a good word, but that that direction draw. Uh, okay. Well, uh, damn the word. But go ahead. Uh, no, thank you, Sensei. Is that that it? Whoosh. 
Mish. People, let's hear what you got to say here. Hi, it's Mike from New Zealand. Mike. Um, well, it seems to me that, that, that our material world only knows one way of progressing, and that is the linear pattern. There is, there is no alternative. You, you, as you train, you can lift higher weights, you can do faster times. Spend more time in the library. Yep. That's how you measure your progress. Whereas what, yeah. what you're making abundantly clear is these moments when we are able to do something that is outside our normal capabilities are the real things we should be noticing. And when we're teaching and we see our students do that, that when they do something that's way beyond their normal, that those are the moments that we need to get people to capture, not to get hooked on, but to notice. And oh, then yeah. you know, when it happens another time, to tell them, look, when it happens again, and it will, spend a little bit of time in that space after it's happened, feeling that space, experiencing no, it. Space. Right, right with you there, Mike. Uh, historically, uh, uh, if I saw a newer type on the mat, uh, perform a technique way beyond his skill level, I immediately would go over an uke for him to feel where he's coming from. Following what you just said, I would yes. immediately do, do that. Because yes. he was coming from a place that wasn't normal. He was outstanding in that move. Whoa, let me, let me feel that and see if I can sense, feel the level he's coming from, how that works. So I would definitely go uke in. No, that's 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 Probably good advice. Exactly what you said, yeah. Um, and because I think it, what actually happens in our in our physical world is that we either ignore or make little of those experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got some real rather heavy. Than, we yeah, got some real heavy, than, some real uh, monster uh, ape type. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Whereas if they can't touch it, they don't believe it. <laughs> They're kind of heavy. Of course, they can't feel it because they haven't settled into a finer level of feeling. Right? Yeah. It's amazing how many people, and you must have run into it in the dojo, where you say, feel, and, and they don't have any concept of feeling. They don't really even know what that means. Feel your body, and they go, ah, I know I have a body. What my, what is feeling the body, ah? Huh? They're starting kind of dense. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I've, I've got to say, I'm still putting my hand up and supporting the word shift. I think the word shift, and I don't think of it in your terms of moving to the side. No, I no, think no. Hey, you like that word? Yep. For you. Yay. Leave me alone. <laughs> live with it. So you I live with your word, I'll live with mine. As long as we're progressing. Yes. Then fine, that word is helping you progress. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Somebody. Here we are. Please. Yes. Since uh Danny here. Danny there. Danny, yeah. Um just recalling um a workshop that you did in New Zealand. I think you were out with Amy, so it was a good while ago. And we'd done a three-day seminar and we were in our dojo. So everyone present was pretty primed, if you know what I mean. We'd, we'd, we'd been working with you for a few days and, and we continued working with it and you came to a point and you said, we're going to dip our toes into the land of harmony. <laughs> you used that, that word, the land of harmony. It stayed with me. Huh? And um, and even your pose as you dipped your toes into it, you said, easy, easy, the huh? land of harmony. Huh? And I've used those words that, that, like you with the original self, they feel really powerful to me, whereby it seems to invoke a feeling of expansion in my body. Yeah, and um, and calms me. Um, and I've used the expression with friends saying, look, this in the land of harmony, such and such wouldn't happen. And they give me a hard time, but I, I, I enjoy it. It creates wonderful conversation, but yeah. the feeling within myself is very powerful. 
Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, would you like, and, and I'll have a question. Yeah. Were we entering the domain or were we already oh, there? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, <laughs> God. It was very cool. Yeah, as you guys very play, cool. you'll know when you're entering the domain. Things will get a bit different, but uh, let, let's hold that one off for, for a bit. Okay. okay. Yeah. Gee, Sensei, I, I was really quiet the other day and I was able to hold my quietness for five minutes. Was I in a domain? I don't know. I don't know. Let's not go crazy here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All I can say is when you're more fully experiencing that level, you'll kind of know it's that level. Something or other, you'll kind of know. That's all I can say. All right. But I'm not going to try to, well, he was quiet for five minutes. Maybe he was in a domain. He pulled off a hell of a throw. He must have been in a domain. I ain't going there. I ain't going there. I'll clarify that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but let's see. I was on to something when you were talking about that. The land of, land of harmony? Is that name? Land, land of, of harmony. harmony, yes. Yeah. Okay, so potentially I was potentially I was inferring in more room in the design of creation, it's a finer dimension. And one possibility in a finer dimension, more room, is the land of harmony. And now, now we should be feeling finer feeling sense feeling and you go oh yeah i can really experience that so we say that naturally happened with that now telling that to somebody else who isn't going to have a sense of a little more room or a sense of feeling finer feeling a sense of some vibrations that in harmony at a certain level Harmony can't show, okay? So the vibrations have to be such to produce that particular quality. So that's why you could experience it, but you couldn't tell them to, unless they play a little bit with it. Can I say that? That good enough? Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. So I think in teaching, uh, Danny, one one thing is, if you're going to help bring people to other levels and other qualities and stuff like that, that you, we, have to walk that path ourselves and get some experience there. Potentially, then we can help them move along because, oh, there, you've been a uh, You've done the first trek. You've been the scout. What other words have we used? The scout, the the uh, pathfinder, the path breaker. Uh, you've you've gone through the brambles and the, and the whatevers to get there. And you know some of the tricks, some of the problems, and some of the insights you get with those problems to make it simpler. And then because you actually yourself have trekked this, experienced this, and makes it easier to potentially help somebody else to walk that same path, have a similar experience or the experience they should have at that level. Okay, so. Uh, so just telling somebody intellectually, it's really uh, uh, harmonious, it's really uh, uh, lovely. Uh, they, uh, they do with that. They look around, they see shit, and you're telling them it's lovely. Uh, they have to have some some journey, some sense of how to get there, and that's all I've been laying out over and over again. I think. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, somebody. Where are we here? Emma, big layout. The big four, space. We've touched on space a bit. Uh, the first beginning simple of space is 
if Bobby has to settle an open, and you'll notice just in that one, there's a little flavor, a little more room, has room for Robert, the character, to be there. And in a little more room, uh, the uh, construct, uh, uh, whatever, construct. And self-character design. Construct design. The design, the energy uh, design of how it works starts to show there. Uh, so that's your first simple introduction to more space. It's just a baby introduction, but whoa, that's an important one. If Bobby doesn't have more space, it's hard for him to be a Robert. Easy, settle, open, there's more space. And if it's more space, actual, ah, it begins to change already. I'm, I, I'm beginning to want to breathe better. I'm beginning to want to adjust and straighten better. I want to do that. I, I was urged to do that. Because in the more space, that's easier to do. Did I say that well? I thought I did. So space, self, character, and design of creation. Sensei, is space the same as situation? Ah! Ah, at the moment, I I, I don't think so. Uh, uh, let's see, situation, situation, okay. Wouldn't situation be more in the design of things? When there's something, there's something else in relationship to it, the design. Maybe, but I, I myself right now can't place it as space. Uh -huh. uh, but I can place it pretty much with the design. Yeah. Um, if you're going to major in space, don't be too quick. This is from Osensei. Don't be too quick to clutter it up with stuff. If you're going to major in just space, more original space, finer, more original space, and just hang out with space beginning to show itself. And remember, you got to at first have an idea about it, of course, for a moment, but then more sensed experience of the space and sensing what the space itself is sensing. Uh, so, uh, so if you're going to major in space, uh, Trick of the trade from most sense. They don't clutter it up with stuff here too fast. Don't don't do that. It, the space won't be able to to uh, explain itself. <laughs> explain for lack of words, its experience as space. Okay, so let's not be too fast to clutter it up. If you're going to major in checking out space. Okay. See, when we did some months, few months back, TJ, when was that when uh, when you came in from the top and it was beautiful or something? Remember? Remember? We were doing space then? Yeah, we were doing space. A few months ago, right? Yes. Yeah, a couple months ago. Uh, in that case, I didn't figure you, you all could go into a much, much finer original space. So... I even inferred now what's happening, meaning what's starting to go on in this space. Yeah. Uh, but truly to major in space, I, I wouldn't go too fast. And now what goes on here? Uh, it's gonna major in space just to get a real good experience with it. Uh, major in space. Yeah. Uh, so this, is, this is Tasia. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm appreciating that you're saying this because the, the experience of space is not about the things that arise in space, hmm. although we can experience them. But if you're, if you're majoring in space, then it's, it's, it's <laughs> well, how to say it, it's very spacious and it's not about the things that are arising in it that are yes. present in it. If you're going to major in space. Yeah. 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 And letting space more original show itself and for lack of word, explain itself. 
Yeah. But you got to be careful because things can start to show, you know, how the construct work can begin to show. A character can begin to be there. Uh, a self might say, here I am. Uh, you have to, what's the word? De delineate? No. Uh, differentiate. Differentiate, yeah. Or yeah, I don't want to say stage focus. Separate. Differentiate, yeah. Yeah, may, yeah. The, the difference between space itself and what what is present in space. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just one way of speaking. Yeah. Of it, so I, I like differing it, yeah, pretty close. Yeah. But again, come up with your own word, people. You got a <laughs> sense of it, differentiate, or I'd say uh, focus on. But people would tend to focus on, so I don't like that word a certain way. But focus on just space. And sometimes if something else starts to show, it'd be like, I'm having enough trouble with space. Thank you. Another time, back to space. Space. It's your turn. <laughs> I like the word distinguish. That's a good one. Okay. Distinguish, yeah. To distinguish. Yes, I heard it. Got it. Distinguish. Okay. Where are we? This is the big time layout here, people. <laughs> This is my before a, a week's break. Now you got something to spend a couple of weeks with. Amy, I see your happy face there. You got anything to say? Shipley? All face, no words. What's happening here? Um, I'm trying to turn on my camera. Um, doesn't give me great hopes here, but go, go ahead. Uh, no words yet. I'm kind of processing it still. I'm still, mm -hmm. still settling in me, the big four. And just I think a, it's a great way of um, categorizing it, though. Just, just for fun. Not yeah. a little early here, but just for yep. fun. What's your sense out of what you might choose to major in for a, just a, Highlight. I'm talking about a week, two weeks, or whatever. Just to get better. Is there anything that that seems to come at you from one oh, of those? They all. They all seem so interesting. Yeah. I've actually been working a lot on self. Yeah. The self has been something I've been wanting to work on lately. But as I was sitting here, I was really feeling space, and I was like, yeah. all the, I wanted to just feel the space, and things kept coming in, and I'm like. Ugh. Let it go, let it go. So it's like I'm, I'm kind of liking. Thing. I'm kind of liking, like, well, not all. If you had to choose the first one, which would it be? I'm kind of liking space because when, when there's more space, the self that's there has more room to show itself at its level, mm -hmm. or the character with more room can show the better level of character. It won't show a Bobby. It'll show a Robert or whatever. Uh, uh, and the construct can show clearer because otherwise it's a bit of a jumble how the universe works. Jesus, you know. Yeah, uh, and it's, so it's kind of like space as maybe in a very important first word here for me the, the, now this the, week. Yeah, I mean, as I was sitting here, it was kind of coming up as space, and I was finding how how much either something just enters that space or you put something in that space and so really giving it its moment yeah. really feeling just the space and not automatically going to what's in there hey, i think we'll be better uh i think i'm following what you're saying but it doesn't matter i'm going to okay. say, what I'm okay. say it. i i think with more and more practice uh, let's say space is still a good one to start just to say and in more space but you're open to one of the others yeah that we'll be able to hear which one wants center stage in that space that you'll know oh it's self self wants or character that we'll be able to hear it feel it sensing that it's going hey i want to turn in here i i think so you're saying there's an order to this huh is there an order to this then? So it's spaced first and then self and uh, No, I don't want to lock in on this, no. Okay. Uh, but for first, I think the space seems to be very useful because how can we do a character Bobby and 
he doesn't realize how, how space is important. He got no room to be a robber, you know, or he can't be a big plant. He's in a tiny pot. He can't get nourished and grow. <laughs> so I kind of, I'm kind of this week looking at space as being one of the first things. May not be, but I, this week I'm enjoying that sense of it. I'm playing with it. Playing around. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I research. I play and see. Okay. Uh, but at the, this week, I like space first. Now, I'm not saying everybody's got to do space first. If you don't do space, you're going to end up in hell. Uh, come on. <laughs> but at the moment, I like space first. It's, ah, ah. Because all the others seem to be able to unfold better in more space. Yeah. Now, later I'll try some of the others and see how it works. Yeah. But you can interchange, or I'm not, I'm not a good word, interchange. Uh, let's say you're going for majoring in self, in more space self. And the self feels to be at a nice level, however self is experiencing itself, then one could say, okay, by the way, I'm very interested in self and character. What character is here? Who am I character at this level of self? And then suddenly a shh, character can come, come in. Uh, so we can interchange. I think a couple of weeks ago, somebody said, oh, I didn't know we could interchange like that. They worded it different, but I think that's what basically what they're saying. I didn't know we could interchange. Yeah. Or yeah. find your character, find your character, say, gee, I feel whatever. Now, let me have a clearer shot of the design of creation at this level I'm at. And then things will start to whatever. Or uh, find your character, find your character. Okay, now... Who's the self that underlies this finer character? So we can interchange and play with them. Uh, now, be careful at first, though, uh, not to smudge. Is that the word? Smudge? Uh, you may not be able to see one clearly if you put the other one in there. It's like, shit, is that my left hand or right hand? Right now, I can't tell which is my left and right. It'll take me a moment to go and see. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. But at first, it's like, I can't tell kind of thing. Smudging. Uh, so I wouldn't be too fast in running the compar comparisons like that. I th I think, I think uh, better to, for a while, maybe work them one at a time. Okay. Again, with the stipulation space might be a good starter for all of them. But anyway, run them one at a time so the smudging doesn't happen. So you stay with that one and whatever word TG used for that or uh, Sean, whoever used for that. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Then you can sort of interchange, say, okay, here I am now. What world am I in? Or here's the world I'm in now. Who's the character here? Then you can interchange and fun around there. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. In the domain level, the Uh, how to say it, the, how those overlay properly is, it's much, much, much clearer. Uh, did I say that right? Yeah. Uh, that feels like, I think, a possibility where the overlay is is not a smudge, is not confusing, okay? Whereas I know it's a little confusing, so I like to do it for quite a while, one at a time for clarity or something. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But that clarifies, especially in the domain level, prepping for eventual heavenly level. <laughs> uh, thank you, Amy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, go ye in self. But check the space, see if it helps. Anybody, come on. I'm waiting.
Kind of quiet, Brad. It's 7.30. Maybe they've had enough. Should we go eat? Sensei, this is Tisha. I have I have one little piece that when I heard you talking more about uh, about space, it came to me in the in the traditions of meditation. Sometimes they talk about two different approaches to meditation. Of course, there are many many different approaches, mm -hmm. and one of the approaches is called meditation without an object. So that's like, that's like appreciating or how you're talking about appreciating or, or, or present to space, because it's not about the things that are arising in space. Are, are you saying that style is inferring space major? Yes, it's space major for sure. Okay. Yeah, but not space as an object, space as a presence, space as being without yeah. without other things yeah okay. you know and the second side i say there's two yeah the second side is is meditation with an object so whatever your object is you maybe perhaps you're you're contemplating or meditating on self or mm -hmm. meditating on character. on character meditating on how the structure uh, design how the design is yes yeah. so the, those three self character and design or meditation with an object or with a, okay. I know we weren't using the word focus, but this kind uh, of- One of the four. And the fourth one is meditation without an object, and that's meditation in with space. I just a way of speaking of it. Yeah. Uh, so I- That's livable, we'll yeah. see. And as we continue the actual experience and can continue more original and more original. All of this clarifies better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Clarify. So that's good enough, close enough. I have to do that with a lot of my stuff. At the moment, this is close enough. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm finished. Doesn't mean it's the end all. But at up to today, this is what I can experience comfortably. Da 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 da. Doesn't mean that's the end of it. Okay. Right. Remember, people tend to stop short. They get to a, a nice place, whatever their sense of a nice space is, and they stop. Uh, so we have a lot of stoppage along the way. Okay. Uh, uh, if you started, let's say, a normal class with 100 people and you went finer and finer and finer, uh, you're not going to end up with 100 people. You know, 10 are going to drop out and then 20 and then 30 are out. You're going to end up with a much smaller group to continue and continue, there has to be some what? Inner sense, there's more, some calling for more. I don't know the word, make up your own word, to keep you going, all right? So when you get stopped someplace uh, in a negative form, you learn to hang out and, and it'll explain itself. If you hang out with it properly and open, it'll explain itself. If you hit a nice zone that you really like, let's say you're a nervous type and you you can finally you catch the trick of how to hitting this uh, calm place. Whoa, that's it. That's it. That's the answer. That's God. God is calmness. Um, if you don't have the calling, you'll stop there. That's a shame. So you'll stop on a negative potential. You'll stop on a positive potential. Uh, but some of us have this thing calling. Oh, since I had this calling, he couldn't stop. He couldn't stop. Okay. Remember, the top fighter in a country that was into martial arts at the time, he could have stopped. He was the top. He continued. He continued into what the hell's happening? What's going on? What is this? He said he took a lot of shit from Taguchi. Trying to say, yes, you're pretty cool. Now there's more of the creation here. And there's more to you, the self. Uh, I said, that, that wasn't that easy. <laughs> but he hung in there, and he hung in there, and he hung in there. Okay, So do the best you can. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh,
Sensei, I wonder if uh, uh, perhaps that's uh, the way to leave it. Are you trying to get rid of us? Is that what you're doing, Lauren? I, I, I am. You got some place to go, Lauren? I, I, I'm going to sit right here for the next three hours. So, <laughs> I mean, it kind of you just summed it up so so perfectly. Uh, uh, perhaps somebody would like to jump in now some more, but uh, it's open. It's wide open, people. Come on. The flavor is we're going to cut it shorter tonight. Come on. Well, I was just wondering if you could talk more about the construct design. Um, uh, no other than uh, vibratory, finer vibrations, center and circle seem important. Uh, the harmony of two, the great he, the great she, the ah, oh, uh, all that stuff seems to be in there. Uh, if you're interested, that's what you get to do for the next two weeks while we have a break. You sit, settle, you might try more space with the sense of the design. At somebody, how, how would you, uh, if you like design or the construct creation, how would you start off uh, your beginning of that or your starting point? Did I say that all right? Let's say I'm going to do a major character run. I might start for a moment with Bobby to Robert ah, to not though. I might take a few moments and then I'm establishing I'm on a character run. Okay. And then shift to more original. Who am I character? How might you do it as a majoring in design construct of creation? Yep. Well, Sensei, it's Justin. For for me, I I work on these these twos of center and circle, expansion, contraction. If I'm in private, sometimes an odd ah, oh, and being clear, this is this and that is that. And get so it start with balance. the two basics at whatever level your two basics are at. And then a sense of more original, a sense of, of course, finer, more original, and see how it lays out. Does the, whatever, the sound frequency, frequency change? Does it want to show a different form? Yes. Uh, whatever, let it unfold. It's there to unfold. It's not itself. All those things are hiding from you. They're there, but we just have to learn to open to them. And if we're too heavy, in whatever sense, uh, they're there, but you can't see it. Easy. Trade it in. Trade in. Uh, downtime trade in. Trade in is a good word. I like trade in. Trading in. Or the big dark down trade in. Uh, so the next finer can show. So yeah, just whatever you're starting with, and then you follow that pattern. So what it's unfolding is the finer of character uh, that I was mentioning, or the design mentioning. So uh, so no, Mike, I don't want to say anything more about design. I think it would, that was a good one. You say, well, there's two basics that I'm aware of in my starting place, and I'll start with that. Boom. Now it's your game. You play. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I thought you said quite a lot, actually. <laughs> and it was helpful. Thank you. Uh, yeah, see, we have to be careful of being just intellectuals. Uh, where uh, Tell me more about that, and I'll ponder it. N no way am I going to actually open an experience, but I'll ponder it, see if it fits in with my brain scheme, understanding of things. Uh, you got to play, you got to experiment, you got to, uh, uh, that's a, a little sideline here, maybe on that, uh, oh, what's it called the domain, a very important place, like, uh, 
the domain of sensei culture is like a gym, softly inferring a, a experience a lot or character a lot. It's a laboratory. Here's your chance to play with different things. See how they how they manifest. Uh, maybe even manifest into the uh, uh, manifest world. Play. Yeah. Um, and a library. So he more than once called off those three in the domain. Okay. I said the people are more whatever intellectual. I just do the library part. And they don't do the the more experienced gym, so to speak, part. I'm not asking you to go out and push weights. Amy, you can go push weights. You like that shit. Go ahead. Uh, but I'm not telling you to do that. It's not gymnasium in that sense. But there is some experiential being. A lot of emphasis also on the character kind of sense. Uh, anyway, that's from O Sensei. Do with it what you will. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say, I think I was trapped by my own um, lineage as an engineer. The two words, construct and design, straight oh, away. Poor guys. You poor guys. Yes. yes. I know. I know. But, but, you know, um, so no, what you actually said was was great. It's, uh, it's corrected that, um, that inappropriate um, yeah. idea. But if Einstein can get to a finer level of sensing, not an engineer, but it can't, but an engineer ought to be able to get to a finer level where the engineering of the design construct of creation can show better and better. So I'm just joshing that no way do you have a snowball's chance in hell kind of thing. Uh, I sorry, I didn't pick up on that anyway. I'm I'm often looking at uh, certainly looking at the world around me and being. <laughs> amazed by um yeah what nature or whatever has created it's it's a pretty amazing place even at the manifest level yeah creation is kind of amazing and again more so as we get into the the more original and more original yeah thank you yeah thank you um um um, 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 something, something. Uh, I just want to mention those sense. Let me see this picture. Don't know why I'm doing this, but I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, here, there we go. Okay, start. Got it. Okay, let's say Otsensei's journey was uh, real development here as from childhood. Okay, the uh, stories of him on the beach, going from the wimpy, sick kid to holding his own to being the best, awed everybody, and continuing with that uh, ability to. Uh, uh, develop so good energy sense, uh, good balance of energy sense. Kept developing the body, like martial arts. So he was developing the martial arts along the way. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Then he continues through the domain territory. This is after Deguchi's push. That is much more. Uh, the Deguchi push came when he was pretty damn good with the as a martial artist. Really good, really good. He said if he had continued that pattern, he would have been a, a super Takeda, a really, really, really good fighter. <laughs> but this addition, he spent some time there. Okay, this is the uh, uh, pre war. And during the war, now he's moving into, into this someplace. I don't know the exact years, but but spend a lot of time there, a lot of 
fun stuff can go on there. A lot of good work can go on there. Moves in here. So we get a guy who can go from this old man really fast. He was fast. Yoked. It wouldn't take much of something. Like that. Bing. And suddenly, this transformation. It's still an old man, but it wasn't an old man because all of this is in play. How do you say? He was standing there in a much finer sense, and it's manifesting ah, outward. The finer is manifest. I'm not saying it well. But see, that's sort of always my question. Where is he coming from? Because I think people were very good at a much finer energy level had devoted their life to energy Tai Chi type stuff. Uh, so, wow, they were good. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, here. Tai Chi, really good energy level. Yeah. But Osente was, how does he do that? Where is he coming from? I could see... Those other people had trained in staying in a horse posture for an hour a day or whatever, day after day after day, or walking around a tree till they were rooting. The ground was actually getting rooted, going down a, a, a foot into the earth because they were walking around it all the time. So I, I understood that. I understood, yeah, I, I could do that if I've got, I want to hang out that many years with it. But this thing kept calling me up. But oh, sensei, uh, I'm not sure where he's coming. Where is he coming from? The sense of his depth, for lack of words. He was coming from something much finer, much finer. So that's why I didn't go off into the Orient, uh, Chinese arts. I like Chinese arts. I like the, the energy. I, I, I liked all that stuff about him. Uh, but if you said Chinese arts are oh, sensei, no question, oh, sensei. Because there's a sense of deeper something so much more there than just a finer energy sense of things or something. Uh, so that's, I, don't, I didn't say it well, but uh, this overlay, this, all these levels were right there where he was at, right here, right here. And so you do some amazing things, although I don't know if I care about the amazing things, because all along the way, people can do a lot of little magic, amazing things, you know. Uh, so I sort of don't want to use that too much as a criteria for anything, but just to sense when he was being a sensei, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I can't say it any better than that, but... Uh, but yeah, and you guys can do this. Okay, he did say that you guys can do this. Christ said that, didn't he? I'm not too up on Christian, but Christ said that. Now that you have a sense of the um, spirit, an experience with the spirit, or when you do, I forget the timing. These and greater things shall you do. Whoa, whoa. So this inner, finer, finer, more original, more original, boom. Whatever miracles he was doing, he was telling those guys, these and more you will be able to do. You shall do something. Yeah, just to make the Christians happy tonight. I think we're finishing up. You got anything before I... Get off stage. I was just going to say, Sensei, that you've used the word emanate rather than manifest previously, and it felt a, a more um, a yeah. more comfortable fit. Yeah, right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you fine tune me on that, manifest manifest a good technique. Uh, radiate has a different flavor. Yeah, so fine tune me. I say, oh yeah, manifest is to do something. You know, uh, uh, it comes through the doing of something. Radiating uh, doesn't have to necessarily do anything. It can, but you're just picking up the 
whatever. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Words. Find your own words. Be comfortable with them as long as they help you continue finer or eventually more original, more original. Okay. If the word gets in your way, it's not good enough. Kill the Buddha along the way. Let go of that word. Be more open and let it name itself. It can do that. It will do that. Okay. A dumb small example, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. But when I do some opening and there's a say a Nado level, jump on Nado level, uh, he doesn't like. If you refer to him as Bobby, he's like, that's not me. I'm not Bobby. <laughs> uh, he, he's naming himself. Okay. So if your magic word stops working, and some of them get stale. You run them as far as they can go. And they run stale. They don't quite do what they used to do for you. Easy. Continuing with that line. What's it call itself at the next level? Trade in, next level. What's it call itself? And my uh, experience has been it always renames itself at that level and then continues for a while. A little aside, I don't know what you want to do with that. I think we're finishing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sensei. Enjoy your holiday next week. Thank you, everyone. And you remember, no class, Thank you, no class next Friday. No class next Friday. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei.